At home, the feds are now investigating seven schools where they say anti-Semitism and Islamophobia has grown rampant since the Hamas attack. Fox Ice Street Sapriola joins us live from Cooper Union, one of the three New York colleges part of that investigation. Uh, Teresa, what are the feds looking into? So Natasha and Steve, they're investigating whether or not these hate crimes are a violation of these students' civil rights. We're talking about Ivy League schools or Little Ivies, the kind of schools that, that traditionally accept only the best and brightest students around the country. The question is, do they also have a problem with hate, specifically targeting Jewish and Muslim students? I think conversations need to be opened up about the hate that people have been experiencing because none of it's okay. Anti-Semitism and Islamophobia were topics of conversation on college campuses across the country long before the attacks of October 7th. But since that attack, incidents of hate crimes and violence have spiked dramatically. So much so the federal government is getting involved, investigating six major universities and one school district for their handling of hate. They've been othered by the system that's supposed to include everybody. Of the seven under review, Cooper Union, Columbia, and Cornell, three institutions that have recently made news for violent threats to students or problematic protests. Nationwide, uh, we have seen that uh, anti-Semitic incidents in comparison to 2022 have jumped by four times. Richmond says his office is overwhelmed by all the complaints they've received. Since October 7th, we have received over 800 incidents reported to my office. My staff is, is overwhelmed uh, with these incidents, just to be frank about it. So I'm not surprised that, um, that universities are being investigated. The schools were informed about the investigations within the last 24 hours. They were launched under Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, which says schools have a responsibility to provide students with an environment free of discrimination. We reached out to the schools for comment. They wouldn't speak, but the students did. We've had a lot of... People harassment, uh, a lot of comments have been made. I think the students uh, like themselves are doing quite enough. I support the government in their attempt at making um, anti-Semitism a real issue on campus that schools have to look at, but I'm also a bit worried that um, this will spiral out of control in terms of big government, but for the most part, I'm all for it. So at the end of these investigations, the Department of Education will make some recommendations. Steve, these schools are at risk of losing their federal funding if they don't comply. That's the latest from the East Village tonight. Back to you in the studio. Very well, all right. Thanks, Teresa.